One of the main advantages of the grouping and option functions here are it allows you to simplify a process. So for instance over here in the mold parts area you can see I've got part production, I've got setup, cleanup, and oven process right here. Right? And uh, that's four steps there, but behind that, if you go on show all detail here, you can see we've actually got many steps, right? This is a very simple one, just with a couple of steps, so you can have any number here. So let's just simplify the process by hiding some of the complexity that's hidden in all the details here from you when you're actually looking at the overall process here. And that leads us to how we're going to present this information to you in terms of packaging it. And what we've done is we've added some options down here. If you click on the uh, task description at the bottom here with the right mouse button, it brings up the pop-ups for the task actions. And the one we're going to look at is the package here. And you can see under package we've got several different options here. We're going to package this one particular station. So in other words, rather than creating a work instruction of the whole process, because you have many, many stations in a process, you want to be able to produce a package and work instructions just for this one particular area right here. So I can do that here by hitting the right button, click on package, and I select package station. And it gives me the option of what kind of package I want to create. Now this means that you can create multiple different types of packages. And that will be covered in the future sessions in this section. But right now we've only got one here. This is the default we provide with the Timer Pro package. So you simply select that one. You We'd recommend that you create a new folder for each of your packages. So you can come up here, click on New Folder. I'm going to call it ACS Demo. Press Enter. And that establishes it. And double click and take you into that. And then click on the Save. And what I'll start to do is start to create a package for that particular task in the process. So I'll just let it finish here. And what you're seeing here is our default designs that we provide with the package. So this is the ones you would get and it would bring up a uh, revision history showing you exactly what it's done here. So you can see it's, it's telling you that at a certain point in time it created this particular station and it created these different groups. So here's the part production and those are the two elements that are involved in the part production. Here are the three elements that are involved in the setup, the one element's involved in the cleanup and the two elements involved in the oven process. And it's telling you they're adding it to it here. So it's giving you a description of what it's actually done here. There will be more discussion about the revision history later on here. But if I come back over now, I can go and look at this and show you the details of what I've done here. So I go to the package and I open the current Excel version. I'll know which one is current and it brings it up here. I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit so we can see it better here. So let me just change the size here and show you what we're looking at here. Okay, so first of all, there's what we call a cover sheet. And the cover sheet contains the summarized data for each of the, con the groupings that we have here. So you can see, here's the part production, the setup, the cleanup, and the oven process. Part production, the setup, the cleanup, and the oven process. So these are the gr main groupings. And then down here you can see we've got additional sheets here. These contain what we call the job element sheets. So here's the part production. Here's the job element sheet for the part production. It's made up of two steps here. You can see these steps again if I just change it back to show all detail here. Let me bring this back up. So you can see my step using levers, press the parts, remove two moldy parts. These are those two steps. If I go to the next one, the setup, there are three steps involved in that. The setup, the clean, and the load parts. Then there's a cleanup, the one step involved in that right here. There's two steps involved in the oven process. Now if we go back again to the part production, let's look at what we have here if I spread this out a little bit. It's showing you there's a video attached to each of these. Right, so we have the video here. It's telling you whether it's value added, non-value added. This is the value added time. This is the work breakout for lean purposes. The wait time, the manual, the auto and the walk. So it's value added but it's manual time right here. And these two here, they add up, if you can see this adds up to 5.43. So if I go back to my cover sheet, here's my part production and here's the 5.43 right here. Right, so the information is being rolled up from the, the job element sheets into the cover sheets to make it easier for you to view the details of the whole process here. Bring this back over and you can see it again in more detail. The same thing happens again for the setup. So you can see you get required non-value added. Now these are the standard designs we give you basically covering all the features. So there's a video, number of operators, the type, whether it's value added, non-value added, or required non-value added. This is a broke out by value added, non-value added, required non-value added. These are the work breakouts. 
So it's wait, it's manual time, auto, and walk. You can design anything you want in the header up here to represent your particular operation. So you can design these any way that you would like here to represent what's going on in your facility. You don't have to use every feature we have. So you can see we've got the information for each of the job elements here, breaking it out in detail, and they're summarized in the cover sheet. And this is what a package is. It's basically a package that represents the work that's being performed in a particular task and allows you to see the summarized and then the individual details. And this is the documentation you probably want to put onto the floor to support your manufacturing processes.